all right welcome back to the channel everybody uh, this is going to be my review of the v moto e huntsman that i've installed on the expand 5. i just wanted y'all to kind of see the higher profile the tire has now uh, before with the stock tire uh, the knobbies the uh, the rev ones tires kind of sat up higher the raise the bike off the ground probably an inch and a half to two inches with the new tires uh, let's talk about the tires first of all uh, the cons of the tires are of course the weight I mean you're adding about five pounds of weight onto the bike compared to the stock tires uh, so for some of y'all that don't want to add that added weight these aren't for you uh, maybe a little range lost for for what you gain in resistance you're gonna give back because of the weight of the tires I, I think I probably lost a mile or two of range uh, the other thing they only come in a 20 by 4 inch they don't come in a 26 uh, let's talk about the pros I already talked about the ground clearance there's really no roar or hum anymore uh, they have a soft put a much softer ride in the front you know this bike doesn't have the suspension for it but boy it sure did soften that ride took a lot of the vibration out too uh, I'd say about 25% softer in the front and probably soften the rear up about 20%. I got that suspension for the Suntour one, so it works real good. Uh, my wife said the bike looked a lot better without the white reflective stripe because the bike's white. The blacked out tires, she liked it better. Uh, I think it looks a lot better too. I already talked about the smooth ride. Uh, I believe these tires you could go anywhere anywhere you could go with the knobbies I mean uh, anywhere uh, they have the endurance comp override technology which gives them three times better puncture protection than pretty much so any tires that don't have that I mean plus look at that tread y'all I mean that's just a what these are like they're like the bf goodrich all-terrain tires i mean they're just they're the they're the best tire you could get for your bike that's not a, actually a motorcycle tire there's no doubt about it so uh we're gonna go out on a quick ride here uh take the bike out so stand by we'll be out cruising around uh let y'all get a kind of feel let me say one thing else too. the installation you do have to kind of make sure you get the sidewall bead kind of even throughout it did take me a couple tries on the rear the front I got done pretty 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 with one try the rear it took me two or three tries okay uh, that's that's but other than that the installation wasn't that tough all right, well, we'll be back, and we'll head out on a quick ride. We'll see you there. Have a good one. All right, so uh, I'm out here at the Trinity River Trails, and uh, trying to think if there's anything I forgot on these tires. Uh, let me just say this. They're just really sweet, and the more that I've now broken them in I don't think I'm losing maybe the range I thought I was at first I think at first they just weren't broken in good and there was some you know some resistance from the new tread on them but they seem to be doing a lot better now uh, I've rode a couple 20 mile rides over the last a uh, couple days and the rain the batteries uh stayed at the level it's been at before i got the new tires so uh i have to say that 
man are they really some quality tires it's it's like i said they are definitely the bf goodrich all-terrain of e-bike tires so uh you know sure they're a little heavy uh you gotta weigh that they're gonna raise your bike up in the air a little bit if you don't want that you're probably not gonna like want them for me that kind of stuff's you know but i like the higher ground clearance So the trail speed out here is 15 miles an hour. I try to stay around that. Uh, this trail is really long. I really don't know how long it is total. I know this there's probably quite a bit of wildlife out here and we probably won't be lucky enough to see any of it but there's probably quite a bit out here even have a like a gravel patch for the joggers to run on so it's a little softer it's kind of cool Oh, look at that you can cross over here wow so oh there's a lot of ducks out there look at that all them ducks hanging chilling They even have e-bike rentals out here on this end. Oh, bugs, 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 bugs. There's some more rentals right here. Oh, there's a lot of bugs out here today. Coming by. So we got some. So we got some new stuff to talk about for the channel. I uh, I got a new uh, carrier for the bikes. It's a Moto Tote. It's a single. It's the Moto Tote Mini. We're going to be doing a review on that. Now, let me see if I can get up and get you all those tires. There you go. Look at that smooth running. No humming. There is a little hum still, but not like it was. So, uh, so there's that. Uh, then I got a new battery for the uh, for this bike for the rad. I ordered a battery. I'm having it made. It's a 48 volt, 20 amp hour. It's gonna fit in the crater. It's supposed to. Uh, it's all uh, Samsung cells. I had to pay a little bit more for those cells, but they're worth it. They're the best cells by far. I can tell you all on my Rev 1, that battery, it lasts unbelievably long. Uh, there's been the past three weeks, I've rode that bike 20 miles 
on Sunday and then gone out all week long and rode six to eight miles in the evening time on it Monday through Friday uh, one of the days I one of the weeks I got like 52 miles on it for the week uh, you know that just has that really good Panasonic Panasonic cell batteries that work really good to say these tires are pretty sweet y'all pretty sweet I certainly did soften this front end up quite a bit faster than 15 miles per hour too. This is my first time riding out here on the Trinity River trails. I've walked out here but it's been a long time since I've even walked out here. Now with the park and sag and all that we've got, you can just go there and walk. It's pretty cool out here. Pretty cool. nice of these cities to start having this kind of stuff for us to do have some recreational places to go that are free it won't cost you anything the gravels for the walkers oh well let's do it anyway let's hit the gravel just real quick just to see what it's like oh yeah this thing eats up the gravel look at that I mean to tell y'all man if you've got an expand 5 and you want to soften your front end up these are the tires for that okay Uh, man, man, I just can't believe the difference in the front, how soft it is now. Now, I have these on 25 pounds of pressure. You, the max is 36. You could go down as low as probably 15, all right, and really soften it up. So, I have to say that, that, that hell, that's softer than the concrete. Shady Oaks. Fungs in the water, isn't there?
cut a lot of the roar out, cut a lot of that humming out. It's really smooth, smooth, smooth ride. No more vibration in the front end. Might be Colonial Country Club over there. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, these speed bumps blow. Anyway, have little, they have little entryways all off of uh, the trail here for people to access. That was a big, great little area. Let me say this, if you're looking for a set of tires for your 20 by 4 inch fat tire bike and you want something heavy duty, you don't mind adding a little weight, you don't mind raising your uh, ground clearance a little bit, uh, these are the ones for you, there's no doubt. They're the, you can't get a heavier duty or tire than these. Without a doubt, they are this quality. So. So I highly recommend these tires. Uh, you can't go wrong with a tire like these. So uh, you'll love them. Like I said, unfortunately they don't make them in 26 by four yet. I don't know if they're planned to. They don't make them in a white wall yet either. Uh, I don't know if they plan to or not i know they have some of their knobbies in a white wall so here again just remember v moto they just make you know top quality e-bike tires period so uh so just remember i highly recommend these you can't go wrong with these so hey if you like this video leave a like please subscribe uh leave me a comment tell me what you think of them and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Y'all have a good one.